Welcome to Vintage Coin Op Restorations and my guest room, which has been completely taken over by some early pinball machines. In fact, when I say early, we're looking at pre-war. Um, what you see here is a pair of Treff bowlers. They're from Germany and they predate the, uh, the Evans 10 strike that so many of us are familiar with. Um, here you have a a mechanical man that is controlled by a gun handle that as you pull in your uh, ball, in fact you might even have one in here, let's do a quick video on that. On the right there is a little ball lift and here we uh, have the ball in this little now and we're going to go and actually try to hit the pins and let's give it a shot. There you have it. Well, typically when we think of bowling, we always think of two frames, but I'm not sure exactly what and how the game is played. That is Treff. Um, it's a certain kind of uh, German bowling game that uses nine pins instead of the American ten. So we have a pair of these just about done. And over here to the left of them is Bally's Bumper. Bally Bumper is uh, probably one of the first bumper pinball machines that were ever made. Uh, it's definitely the first one for Bally that they ever did, but I do believe there might have been one company who might have beat them just by a couple of weeks on the patent. It's just absolutely beautiful. And the back glass is absolutely flawless. And you see the little red um, marquee on the top there? You don't see too many of those. They're usually missing. This machine had it, and it's an original. So it was kind of nice to see that on a machine. That's the first time we come across one that had it. And it also came with the original instruction cards. So that was kind of neat. It's been completely restored. And over here to the left, again, is the famous Makola Army Navy machine. Now this one is a wood top version, and if you've been following our videos, you know that there's a gold top also. And in fact, we have the gold top right over here. I'll back up a little bit. We have the gold top right here. And we just finished shooting a little video of this machine. And we'll go back to the wood top here. Just one, just about done. A uh, couple things to, you know, do a couple fine tuning things. But like I said in the first video of the Rocola's gold top, if you look at the play field, the holes are in the same place, but it, it's a little bit different. You got red and blue circles. And I'll do a quick. And over here, they're flags. So it's one of the differences that now we have both of them right next to each other, you can actually see. And here on the left is another Rakola machine. This one's called Play Ball, or as most of us call it, World Series. Another mechanical marvel when it comes to pre-war pinball machines. Here on the left again is a international mutoscope hockey machine. Uh, a lot of us are familiar with the Chicago coin version of this, uh, where that basic same mechanical um, uh, cast iron man is used in their goalie Chicago All Star twin hockey. This little man is pretty familiar to uh, most. Coin op collectors. 
but uh, this machine really isn't because I can't say we've seen too many of them. Um, again, this one's been completely restored. Uh, new legs, new rails, there's been a lot of work done to this machine to get it to this level. And uh, it's quite, a, quite a, a lot of fun. I'm not sure if you can see, but on the side here there's a little door. We'll do another video of this machine actually in, uh, and play it. But we just wanted to give you a sneak peek of uh, what's going on here at uh, Vintage Coin Op Restorations. Uh, we have the Chicagoland Coin Op Show coming up on April 4th, 5th, and 6th. And uh, these machines may make it there uh, if these videos don't uh, sell them first. Uh, if you have any of these machines or you're looking to purchase one or sell one, give us a call. We're located in Chicago, Illinois. Our phone number is area code 630-624-7466. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to our videos so you can see all the new machines coming into the warehouse. Thanks for watching.